Hola. Hey, ¿Por qué los ah. otros no pondrán el video? ¿Cómo? ¿Por qué los otros no pondrán el video? ¿Cuál video? Eh, para poder eh, hablar así. Ah, no les gusta. Bien raro siento yo hablar así con, sin, sin saber con quién estoy hablando. Ah, no. Hello, good evening. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, let's wait one minute and then we'll, we'll start. I love you so much. Okay, let's get started. All right, so to the, the topics that we're going to see today, we're going to see um, a indirect request or indirect questions. And then we're also going to see a, a lesson in section three, que se llama evaluation with adjectives and nouns. Okay, so let's do yeah. a, wor a warm up. Guess a warm up. What is a warm up? Teacher. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. In the homework, eh, una no salió mala, verdad? Yes, había una que estaba mala. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get let's get started. Let's let's go down to to a little review. Simplemente un repaso, right? Porque ustedes ya vieron este tema. But uh, let's do a little review. Okay. Indirect questions. So I have here a list of indirect questions that we can look at. Okay. Maybe you can help me. Where are you from? What will be the correct answer? Can you tell me where, where you are from? You are from. Okay. All right, very good. Next, does Robert Downey Jr. live here? Could you, could you ask you, Robert? Okay. Before, before, you, before you continue, eh, veamos las reglas for this section, okay? Because I, I think it's important for you to understand. Now, estas reglas también están en el video. Okay? Aquí simplemente las estoy, las estoy sacando del video. Okay? So, rule number one. It says, in WH questions. Recuerden que estamos as, eh, tomando WH questions y convirtiéndolas en indirect requests. Okay? So, for WH questions, the subject comes before the verb. Do you remember? Yes. The subject comes before the verb. Okay. Number two, rule number two. Don't use do or does in indirect questions. Okay. Don't use do or does in indirect questions. Okay. Y esta la vieron en alguno de, la, de, la, de los ejercicios que estaban allí en el homework. Ok. Number three. You can use if 
or whether in an indirect yes or no question. ¿Qué es la que vamos a hacer? La, la, ahí donde no, nos quedamos, en la número dos del ejercicio que estábamos haciendo ahorita. You can use if or whether in an indirect yes or no question. ¿Qué quiere decir if less formal, whether more formal? Okay. Rule number four. Teacher, you wonder whether? No, we, no tiene nada que ver. Whether is clima. No tiene nada que ver con este, con weather. This, this, the way that you are using. Simple present questions. We use an S on the verb. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Let's go to, to the exercise that we were doing now. Here, for example, does Robert Downey Jr. live here? This is a yes or no question. Okay. Que es la regla número cuatro. Yes or no question. I put an S on the verb. Also, do not use do or does. Okay. So, como sería? Can I ask you? If. ¿Por qué if? Voy a regresar aquí porque es lo que me está preguntando Sara. ¿Por qué if? Es la regla número tres. You can use if or whether in an indirect yes or no question. Is this a yes or no question? Lo que empiezan con do, these are yes or no questions. Or could or can, these are yes or no questions. Okay, can I ask you if Robert... Downey Jr. is an actor. That's an actor, right? Lives here. here. Okay. Lives here. Question. All right. Creo que no sé si en este ejercicio tengo que poner la pregunta. No la veo. La question mark. No la veo allí, pero creo que sí tiene que estar ahí. Okay. Let's continue. Can we take one of those bikes? Can we take one of these bikes? Do you know if? Recuerden que el propósito de esto es ser más formal, tener más respeto cuando vamos a preguntarle, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. If. Do you, you know, know if? ¿Cuál es el sujeto que está allí? We. We. Can take one of these bikes. Bikes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What time does the bus leave? I would. Este, este I and D is really what you're saying is I would. Es lo mismo que decir I would. Solo que estoy usando contracción. Mm -hmm. I would like to know if Ah, no, I would like to know, sorry, porque este es un WH question. I would like to know what time uso does or no uso does? No, does not. Exactly. What time the bus... What time the bus leaves? Y uso es, right? Simple present. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Number five, where is the nearest restaurant? Would you tell me that? Tell us, tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Where is the nearest restaurant? Where the nearest restaurant is. ¿Se acuerdan por qué? Sí. Verbo to be in the end. Ajá, regla número uno. In WH questions, the subject comes before the verb. El verb que? El verb to be. So, estoy siguiendo esa regla yo aquí? Yeah. Because, aquí está el verb to be. Y, ¿dónde está el subject? Restaurant. Okay. 
So la regla número uno dice, the subject comes um, before the verb. Okay, el subject y después el verb. Deja ver si puedo escribir aquí. Subject. Ah, oh, no, no, con este no puedo. Let me see. Okay. Subject, mm -hmm. restaurant, verb. Okay. ¿Estoy siguiendo sí. esa regla? Sí. Sí, porque decía... The subject comes before the verb. Very good. All right. Number six. How much do the tickets cost? Do you know? Do you know how much the tickets cost? How much? Uso do? No. No. Very good. How much the, the tickets, tickets cost? Cost. cost. Now, I have to put an S. Okay? Y, y ese es uno de los que mucha gente fallaron en el homework. Porque había una pregunta así que decía, how much does it cost? And then it had um, the S at the end. Okay, very Is good. Is that Number still seven. open today? Huh? No. Number seven. Is the zoo open today? Can you tell me if the zoo open uh, no open the zoo opens correct Today. is no 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 is the zoo open today can you today. tell me if the zoo open today. opens today okay. now le voy a ser sincero si ustedes usaran aquí is y están hablando con una persona, les va a entender 100%. No es, no es que alguien se va a fijar, ah, no, es que usted lo dijo mal, porque no, en realidad no es tan, tan, como te, como te digo, no es, eh, no se escucha mucho este giro de este, eh, una palabra chiquita, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Like is. For example, si tú me dices, can you tell me if the zoo is open today? Yo te entiendo bien. Cualquier americano te va a entender bien. Okay? So it's not, it's not a big deal. Okay? Lo que queremos hacer aquí es, en vez de decirlo así muy al golpe, use it and ask the questions more respectful. Okay? <clears throat> Do you speak English? Could I Could ask you if you speak English? Okay. Esa sería una forma más, más, más polite, ¿verdad? Could I ask you if you speak English? Okay. Where do you buy that cool hoodie? I would like to know where you... Let me see. Where did you... Ah, esta es una did. So this is past. Esta no la hemos visto, porque esta está en el pasado. <laughs> All right, so, where did you buy that cool hoodie? I would like to ask you where you bought. Esta no la han visto todavía. Y no está en la plataforma, sino que es el uso de este tipo de, de request, indirect request, pero usando el pasado. Eso no lo han visto todavía. Um, I would like to know where you bought that cool hoodie and question what is your email address would you tell me um, what your what your email address is right tiene sentido right okay so lo más importante de aquí es quiero quiero que ustedes se lleven las reglas Number one, uh, the subject comes before the verb, okay? Knows and do or does. If y whether. If, if is less formal, whether is more formal. Okay? 
And then simple present questions have S. All right, very good. We're gonna we're gonna continue. Uh, if you want to, you can continue. I can send you another practice of those. Okay. Um, recuerden que no les puedo garantizar si hay algún error, si existe algún error en la hoja. Simplemente para practicar. All right. Let, let's take a picture of the attendance. Porque me dijeron a las ocho diez. Ya me pasé cinco minutos. A picture of attendance. Let me see, todos tienen el nombre bien. Eric, good. Sarah, Naomi, Anna, Kenya, very good, very good. Michelle, Stephanie, okay. Very good, okay. All right, let's take a picture of the attendance. Eh, esto, esta modalidad es nueva, pero es solo para tener un récord. En nuestro caso. Okay, give me a second. Let me just put it in the WhatsApp. Okay, eh, vamos en intermedio. Today is July 8th, 2020. Eh, intermediate class. Intermediate class, uh, ¿qué más? Um, de 8 a 9. All right. Okay, very good. Now I want to go to the to the next lesson that we're going to do. This is a the video is from section three. Algunos ya llegaron a la section three? Yes. Yo creo que bastante, sí, ya. Teacher. Ajá. Sí, el trabalengua, pues. Eh, no, no lo vi, pero ya antes de la clase, lo, antes que se termine la clase, lo, lo voy a hacer. Voy a intentar. All right. Very good. Section three, we have, eh, tenemos evaluations with adjectives and nouns, 3.1. Then you have a test. Then you have comparison with adjectives and nouns. Um, es casi el mismo tema. Okay. Es el mismo tema, 3.1, 3.4, es el mismo video, casi lo mismo. Knowledge check, and then expressing wishes. Um, Teachers. Oh, hay, hay tres sí. lecciones de gramática aquí. Ajá. Pero nos dejó el deber de ver el video nuevamente de 2.8. Y, no. y la respuesta. 3.1. Ah. Sí. Ah, pues no lo... Ayer nos dijo 2.8, pero... Ah, ahora pero... Más... Pues sí, ayer, pero no, en la tarde le, me di cuenta de que esta lección se basa en el video ese. Es decir, 3.1 va con este video, 3. Sí, este video. No, desde, ahora veremos sección 3.1, Evaluation with Adjectives. Para ahorrar tiempo, vean el video. All right, very good. So... Eh, el video lo pueden ver después, eh, más tarde, después de la clase o mañana lo pueden ver, porque se basa la lección 3.1 y 3.4 en eso. Ahora, yo les voy a dar mi presentation de una forma lo más simple que puedo sobre el mismo tema. Y después pueden ver el video y van a aprender más todavía. ¿Ok? All right, very good. Comparison with adjectives, nouns. Uh, section 3.1 and 3.4, uh, Intermediate Module 1. Okay, we're going to compare houses and apartments. Okay, we're going to use adjectives and nouns to compare ad, uh, apartments and houses. Uh, you can compare anything. You can compare uh, living in the city or living in the country, living in... Um, Living in Santa Ana or living in San Salvador. You can compare whatever you want, okay? But el video, el tema del video is house and apartment. So yo voy a usar lo mismo, house and apartment. All right. And you're going to use two key words, enough and two. ¿Ya han visto estas palabras? Las que están arriba. Yeah. Enough and two. For example, um, you know, speaking about the pandemic, right? Ahorita cuando veo, veo la noticia me doy cuenta de we don't have enough doctors. Okay. O 
or puedo usar two. There are too many people in the street. Okay? Two or enough. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, very good. So estas palabras ya las han visto ustedes, yo sé que en el pasado. So um, we're going to use those, okay? So we're going to use those. So I have two categories, okay? Categoría, pongámosle así, categoría uno y categoría dos, okay? One and two. One is adjectives. Two is noun, okay? So quiero dividir, dividirlo así para... Para claridad. Eh, hagamos adjectives primero y después nouns. En vez de brincar así, porque si estamos brincando aquí, vamos a ir aquí, después aquí, después acá, y nos vamos a confundir todo. So, let's do adjectives first, and then we're going to do nouns. Now, remember, what are adjectives? Adjectives are used to describe a noun. For example, adjectives pueden, aquí hay una lista abajo, comfortable. Repeat after me, comfortable. Comfortable. Convenient. 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 ¿Qué es convenient? Conveniente. Conveniente. Dangerous. Dangerous. Peligroso. Yes. Dark. Repeat after me. Dark. 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 Bright. 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 Expensive. 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 Huge. Huge. Repeat, please. It's the Huge. same as. Big, huge. Huge. Es como una ch, 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 huge. Ay, esa me cuesta. Ah, it's a pronunciation, like a, como un, como un tren. Ch, ch, huge. 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 Okay, ¿qué significa big? The same thing as big. Small, repeat after me, small. 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 Inconvenient. Inconvenient. Eh, modern. 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 Moderno. Modern. Modern. Repeat. Noisy. 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 Private. Ruidos. Private. Mm -hmm. Private. 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 Quiet. Quiet. Safe. 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 Small. 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 Spacious. Spacious. What is spacious? Spacioso. Espacioso, uh -huh. Like big, you know, a lot of space. Okay, very good. So, basically, for this exercise, for number one, I'm going to use adjectives. So, enfoquémonos en adjectives. Uh, condo and houses, or apartments and houses. I don't know. Dicen que hay una, una diferencia entre apartments y condos. I don't know. I don't really understand the difference. But let's compare apartments and houses. So, eh, ¿cuál es la estructura? Si pueden ver, antes de leer el ejemplo, vean acá. The structure. Okay? The structure is subject plus verb to be, adjective, y después esa palabra enough, and a compliment. For example, our apartments aren't big enough for families. Okay. Siguiendo esa misma estructura. Subject, apartments, verb to be, aren't. Adjective, big, enough. La dejo igual, enough. And then compliment. So, what am I saying here? I am basically evaluating. Estoy haciendo un, pasando juicio, eh, evaluando según mi criterio. Adjectives, evaluation. You can evaluate things with adjectives. You can use, for example, big, small, expensive, todos esos adjectives que vieron ustedes, right? You can use to, la palabra to, and enough. Son palabras claves que, que vamos a usar. Okay. Now, uh, you can say here, I have an example, apartments are too small, right? For families of five people. For example, subject, verb to be, después uso esa palabra, are too, and then small, okay? 
Very good. So this is the first way that I can use. What am I doing? Simplemente estoy evaluando. It's my opinion. This is what I think it is. Okay? Now remember, algo clave aquí que todos lo, los adjectives que vamos a ver comparando y evaluando con adjectives tienen esto, tienen el, perdón, do you see, verb to be. Verb to be. Verb to be. Tienen el verb to be. So that's very important. Si usamos el verb to be, estamos hablando de adjectives. Okay. Very good. Let's go to the next section, the next adjective with a comparison. Okay. Now, aquí está mi estructura. Y esta, esta foto la tomé del video. Okay. I use subject plus verb to be, adjective, enough, or to, puedo usar to también, and complement. For example, our partners aren't big enough for families. Okay? I am basically comparing. Okay? Now, aquí, aquí hay otra. Esta está un poquito más clara. Eh, vamos a usar también as. As. For example, apartments aren't as expensive as houses. Es que uh -huh. eh, in this case, as eh, have both mind. ¿Cómo? Fear as is tan, second as is como. Sí, si va una coma, me decís. No. El primer as es uh -huh. tan y el segundo es coma. El segundo A significa como. Ah, ah, sí, lo estás traduciendo, perdón, pero pensé que decías coma, como le eh, coma. Yes. Lo que estoy comparando aquí, ¿ya se dieron cuenta las dos cosas que estoy comparando? Sí. Estoy comparando eh, un apartments. Casa, un apartamento con una casa. Exactly. Apartment with a house. Correct. I am comparing. So, yes, I have to use as. Okay. Y después, as. So, for example, apartments aren't as expensive as a house. Okay. So, in este caso, eh, recuerden, si estamos eh, comparing adjectives, you're going to use as. As. Okay. Ya después vamos a hacer otros ejemplos. All right. But remember, again, verb to be. Here we have verb to be also. Okay. Now, let's go to the second category. Nouns. Uh, so, ya hicimos dos con adjective. Evaluation and comparison with adjectives. Now, let's go to nouns. Okay. Nouns. Evaluation. Example. Okay. Apartments don't have enough space. Enough space for a big for family. A big family. Mm -hmm. Here I am basically evaluation. Es como una evaluación, una observación de mi parte. Apartments don't have enough space. Okay. So here, igual, podemos usar enough or to. Okay. We use subject plus verb. The verb, aquí ya no es el verb to be. Ya se dieron cuenta cuál verb es? Don't. Okay. Ya no es el verb to be. El verb to be es solo para adjectives. Apartments don't have enough parking space. El ejemplo que hizo el teacher aquí en el video. Apartments don't have enough spark, uh, uh, parking space. You can also say apartments don't have enough y después a noun. Don't have enough privacy. Apartments don't have enough rooms. Apartments don't have enough 
kitchen space. Apartments, y ahí uno puede simplemente tirar cualquier noun al final. ¿Ok? Questions? No. Preguntas for this section? Ok, so remember, aquí no tengo el verb to be, pero sí tengo un, en algunos casos el verbo auxiliar, do or does. Ok, and then finally, eh, nouns with comparison. Apartments in the city are just as expensive as homes. I am comparing. Right? That, that is my opinion. Estoy diciendo que los apartamentos en la ciudad son igualmente de caros. Apartments in the city are just as expensive as homes. Okay? That is just my opinion. Aquí el teacher tiene otro ejemplo. Aquí abajo. He says, he used for example here, he says, subject plus verb plus enough plus noun. Apartments don't have enough parking space. Oh, le podemos cambiar el ejemplo, all right? Okay, very good. Now, this is what you're going to do. What you're going to do is basically, quiero regresar al cuadro, este cuadro. This is very important, okay? Siempre cuando vean en los videos este tipo de cuadritos, estudienlos, practiquenlos, leanlos, right? Vean el video y vean lo, el, prácticamente la estructura. So, this is what you're going to do, okay? So, what are you going to do? You're going to use this square. Este, se lo voy a mandar también este cuadro que está en el video. And you're going to do something like this, okay? You're going to compare. Uh, you're going to use adjectives for evaluation and adjectives for comparison. And then you're going to do nouns for evaluation and nouns for comparison, okay? So, basically, vamos a, vamos a pasar aquí un buen tiempo. Eh, antes de la actividad voy a poner el video. Solo son cuatro minutos para que ustedes vean lo que el teacher está hablando. Um, para ver el uso de estos, tal vez les ayuda la presentación que yo les di. All right, adjectives. For example, here, apartments aren't convenient enough for big families. Okay. Les voy a también pasar este cuadro como ejemplos. Ustedes van a llenar los espacios aquí pueden hacer quiero que hagan por lo menos one two three four okay adjectives evaluation apartments aren't convenient enough for big families that's my opinion adjectives apartments are just as safe as houses comparison okay estoy diciendo que los apartamentos son igual de seguro que las casas our apartments are just as safe as houses. All right, and now we have nouns. Nouns. Apartments don't have enough rooms. Apartments don't have enough parking space. I puedo decir lo que quiero, eh? And then comparison with nouns. Apartments don't have enough garden area as houses. Okay? I am comparing. All right, so I'm going to put the video for you. Let's watch the video. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to apartments. Additionally, you'll be able to evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following. Have enough parking spaces. Me, me voy a adelantar un poquito, solo porque, eh, para ahorrar un poco de tiempo, okay? present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives and particularly we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. After that we're going to make evaluations but this time we're going to use nouns and at the same time we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. 
since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and uh, maybe study them if you're not familiar with them. So for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. Let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough. And then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here. So in this case, it happens to be families, right? So if we look at the pattern, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening there. That's in black. There we go. So we can see that the subject is apartments. Then this is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form. After that, we're going to have some sort of adjective. And then it's going to follow the word enough. And then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families. Okay. And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't, and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following, that we're just going to have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big? Well, the opposite of big, we can, we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are and what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small. And I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences these two evaluations are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now. OK, ahora el teacher va a hablar de los nouns. OK, so only two minutes and then we, we're going to go to the speaking activity. We're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time, and I'm going to show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, uh, similar to making evaluations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, That's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes. 
we're no longer using the birth to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of birth. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we're going to say don't have. That's uh, the birth is on its negative form. And then this follows enough. So opposite from adjectives where we would include the adjective first, when we make evaluations using nouns, we no longer use the adjective first. We're going to include enough and then we're going to include the noun. So let me give an example here. Don't have enough. And then uh, whatever um, noun that we want to include. So in this case, don't have enough parking spaces. Okay. Uh, so the noun is parking space, and then you can think of a complement, if you will. So you can include something else there. So for example, uh, what could that be? Don't have enough parking spaces for people, right? That could be the complement. But in this case, the noun is parking spaces. And quickly, I want to talk about nouns. So what are nouns? What are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are, um, you know, thinking about Okay, so that is the video. Basically, he's explaining what I said, okay? Now, we have 20 minutes, and I, I want to spend the next 20 minutes doing the speaking activity, the writing activity. We can practice grammar, speaking, okay? So, ¿qué van a hacer? Basically, van a terminar este cuadro, okay? Mm, le voy a mandar este, esta foto, esta imagen, okay, a uh, WhatsApp so that you can look at the examples. Me gustaría que intenten ustedes hacer sus propios ejemplos. Evaluations with adjectives, comparison with adjectives, evaluation with nouns, and comparison with nouns, okay? So let's go to groups, and basically you can do it. Eh, ¿Cómo lo pueden hacer? Pueden escribir, si quieren usar el chat, alguien quiere compartir pantalla, you can do that, okay? Let's go to groups. Ana, eh, acepte la invitación, por favor, Ana, para ir al grupo. Hola, no, Rafael. Hola, no. no, Rafael. ¿Estás ahí? No sé cómo hacer eso. ¿Estás ahí? Hola. Sí, excuse me. Ok, ahí estás. All right. Yeah. You have Ana here. I put yeah. it in, in WhatsApp, I put a picture. So you can look at the pictures there. And basically, lo, lo pueden escribir, lo pueden hablar, lo pueden mandar por mensaje, pueden compartir pantalla, pueden trabajar como quieran. But the idea is that you complete the your own examples. Okay? Okay, and comparisons with whatever. Mm. Yeah, if, if you look there, I put two pictures in WhatsApp. The first picture has the grammar explanation and it has adjectives at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, so you can use those. All right, okay. Got it. Okay, Ana, okay. está ahí? Ana? 
Ok. Bueno, Ana, no sé, no, no me está respondiendo. No sé si está ahí o está teniendo problemas ella con su micrófono. No sé. So, Rafael, si quieres, empieza tú. You know, try to, uh, try to work yourself. Ok. Uh, for folks, let's see. Ana, no, no le escuchamos. No sé si está teniendo problemas con su micrófono. No, estoy bien ahí. Ah, pero... Entonces, ¿estuvo ahí para la explicación, Ana? Claro. Ok, entonces lo que va a hacer es eh, comparisons with adjectives and evaluations with adjectives. Y después vienen los nouns. Ok. okay. Can you see what's up? Can you look at the picture in WhatsApp? Yes. Ok. Look at the picture there, the, the, the one that says apartment versus houses. Do you see it? Yes? Yes. Do you see it? Okay, give me an example. Excuse me, uh, Carlos. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, for example, bigger, I don't know, bigger houses are. Si querés usar la, la misma estructura que yo tengo en el ejemplo, solo mm -hmm. cambiarle, solo cambiarle el vocabulario. Okay, so how, um, no, I don't know. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Um, okay, for example, let's see. Cars are no. dangerous. Okay. Solo no. te, voy a dar, te voy a dar un tip. Quédate con el ejemplo uh -huh. de apartments and houses. Stay, stay there. Ah, okay. Si puedes hacerlo allí, entonces puedes ir a otro lugar. Pero quédate ahí, porque el vocabulario que te dio... Los ejemplos que te estoy dando son de ese tema. So, solo para que se te, se te haga más fácil. Ya cuando tenés buen manejo de eso, te puedes ir donde tú quieras. But um, first, let's do it. Adjectives evaluation. Ana, no sé si está ahí. También quiero que, que me ayude example, aquí. Uh -huh. Apartments are expensive enough for the families. Ok, puede ser. Solamente allí me dijo que los apartamentos no son suficientemente caros para las familias grandes. Oh. But excuse me, you, uh, ¿Sí? we can... Al revés, le dije la cosa. Uh -huh. Al revés, lo... Lo, lo, uh -huh. lo, yes. lo puse, va. Yes. Ok, yes. Ajá, uh -huh. eh, Rafael. For example, um, apartments are too expensive. Uh, no sé cómo unirlo realmente. Ok. Entonces, Digamos, no son... Uh, no son... Uh -huh. Ok. Algo que los apartamentos no son suficiente para familias grandes. Algo que ellos no son. Que no son suficientemente que para familias grandes. Apartments. Ah, ok. Then, there you go. There you go. So, okay, so put that word I can there. Say, I can say apartment. Uh, let's see. Apartment are two. No, are in, are in spaces enough for big families? Ahí está. Ahí está la primera. There you go. Okay. Okay. Our, our apartments aren't spacious enough for big families. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Porque si, como está en negativo, está diciendo no es suficiente, no son suficientemente que. You know, you're using it in negative. So, uh -huh. so you have to find out a word or vocabulary that fits. So ahí ya tenés la primera. Okay. Now, 
Mm -hmm. we'll go to the other one, okay? Adjectives, comparison. Okay, Ana, no sé si está viendo también allí. Adjectives, comparison. Por ejemplo, para el, el num, num. Apart from uh, one, have enough bathrooms. Eh, no, no le escuché porque se le está como cortando. Can you repeat? Apartment don't have enough bathroom. Okay, uh, apartments don't have enough bathrooms. Okay, solamente que allí, allí Ana, usted brincó a nouns, evaluation. El, el ejemplo que usted me dio está bien, pero encaja dentro de nouns, evaluation. Sí, en ese... Por ejemplo, le... Um, okay. Como primero di el ejemplo, el primero y luego el siguiente. Por eso le di ese. I have another one. Ok, go. Por eso. Um, eh, houses, house, aren't safe enough for kids. Uh -huh. eh, pero ¿dónde estás? ¿Qué, ¿Qué me estás dando? Adjectives, comparison, adjectives. Por ejemplo, uh, no. Can, can I say big houses? Yes, yes. Excuse me? Yes, but uh, so maybe. No sé si me uh -huh. está dando adjectives or nouns. Eh, no, adjectives. Estás viendo lo, el cuadro, ¿verdad? Yes, el cuadrito yes. que mandé. Entonces estás See, that's en why I adjective comparisons, right? Yes. Okay. So you can say apartments are, y, y si tú ves el, el otro cuadro, por eso le mandé los dos, el otro cuadro que dice en comparison with adjectives, houses uh, aren't yes. as convenient as... Oh. Okay. Okay. Esa, es otra, esa es otra forma de decirlo. A mí puedes usar ese también. ¿Te acordás que usamos okay. as dos veces? Yeah. So, uh, using the evaluation with adjectives, que, y, I could say that. For, uh, big houses, mm -hmm. no, right. Big houses aren't safe enough for kids. Yeah, no, right. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's no. good. And ese, ese encaja en evaluation with adjectives. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Okay. Uh, with comparison. Oh my gosh. Don't have a Let's see. Houses aren't, y después viene un, un adjective. Houses aren't as, and then put an adjective. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I say the, 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 the same word? Houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see. Okay. Um, for example, houses. Mm -hmm. No, let's see. I got, I got to change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got to change. Apartments aren't as convenient as a house. Okay, very good, very good. I thought comparison adjectives. So, yeah, this is the evaluation adjectives, mm -hmm. comparison adjectives. Okay. Eh, yo creo que Ana nos dio un evaluation with nouns. Okay. Ana, can, can you repeat yes. your example? In nouns. Okay. Can you repeat your example? Pero para el adjective, no, para el adjective, no sé cuál usar allí. Okay. En el ejemplo que ha puesto, es que para mí, allá, as safe as, as house, pero no sé qué, si usar big, pero big es grande. Grande, muy grande. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So, ya, ya ustedes big, ya, ya tienen un. Ok, trabajan en equipo porque yo me tengo, voy a ir a ver los otros grupos, voy a supervisar los otros grupos, pero los quiero dejar a ustedes bien. Eh, ya Rafael ya dio los dos primeros adjectives. Ana, ya usted dio los ejemplos con nouns. ¿Por qué no los escriben para que tengan ya el cuadro completo? Okay. Okay. Trabajen juntos. 
Teamwork. Can you hear me? Okay, hello. Hi. What are you doing? Okay, examples? Hello? Yes, in the chat, writing the sentences. Okay, do you, do you have some examples? Okay. Other, um... ¿Cómo están trabajando? ¿Juntos, individuales? ¿No están trabajando? ¿Qué están haciendo? Juntos, juntos y los mandamos al chat, los que vamos a armar. Ah, ok, ok. Al chat de ustedes aquí, interno. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, so. Eh, adjectives evaluation. Give me one example. What do you have? Apartments aren't have enough privacy. Ok. Apartments... Solamente que ese ejemplo que me dio encaja dentro de nouns, no adjectives. Porque adjectives tienen el verb to be. Apartments are, or apartments aren't. Do you see? Yes. Apartments aren't. Ajá, si ustedes ven, bueno, Ajá, sí, sí, sí lo lleva. Apartments no, aren't have. No privacy. But aren't have, no puedes usar el verb to be, después el verb have. Aren't have, no. Okay. Ahí tal vez lo que quieres decir es don't have. Mm. Apartments don't Entonces, have. Entonces solo dejaríamos el aren't. No, don't. Mm. Ajá, en el caso de que lo usáramos con adjetivo. Digo, eh, so, sí, pero verbo. ¿cómo, lo, cómo, ¿cómo sería toda la, la oración completa? Apartments aren't. Después de aren't, you have to use an adjective, have right? Mm, okay. No, antes del enough, tiene que ir un adjetivo. Apartments aren't. Have. Adjective. Adjective. Have. No, have no es un adjective. Eh, no, como por ejemplo, apartments aren't big. Ah, big, sí, big es un adjective. Our apartments aren't big enough for families. For families. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Safe. Ahí está, adjectives, evaluation. Then adjective comparison. Mm -hmm. Usamos apartments, as. Apartments no. are just as dark as house. Okay, all right. Apartments are just as dark as houses. Uh, apartments are just as expensive as houses, right? The same, okay? Ahí estamos usando as. All right, very good. Okay. Nouns, evaluation. Now, what do you have? Evaluation. Uh, houses don't have an outplay area as apartments. Okay, very good. Very good. And then comparison. Uh, yes. Pueden usar la misma frase que yo puse ahí en el cuadro. Apartments don't have, or you can change it. Houses don't have enough. And then you put a noun. Apartments don't have enough rooms. Apartments don't have enough bathrooms. Apartments don't have enough space. Cualquiera. That's all nouns. Apartments don't have enough kitchen space. As. As kitchen space. No. Apartments don't have as enough kitchen house. space. As kitchen space. No. Apartments don't have enough kitchen space. As, as, ¿con qué lo estás comparando? Houses. As houses. As houses. Yes. Very good, ahí están. Okay. All right. Continue. Use my examples. Or you can use the examples in the grammar um, video, right? The picture that I put. Mm -hmm. eh, traten de solamente, pues, cambiarle el vocabulario. All right. Pero la estructura, pueden usar la misma que está ahí. Pueden usar la mía. O pueden usar la que está en el, en el picture. ¿Ok? Ok.
Hi. <laughs> okay. How are you doing? Hi. We finish. Okay. Give me an example uh, with compare a uh, adjectives evaluation. Give me an example. Uh, apartments no, are uh, See, sí, una por una. Adjectives evaluation, the point adjective comparison, the noun evaluation, noun comparison. Okay. Okay. Apartments aren't um, comfortable for my family. Okay. Very good. Y ahí puedes agregar la palabra enough. Enough. Uh, no. Enough for my family. Comfortable enough for my family. Mm -hmm. Remember? El uso de enough? Yes. Okay. If you look at the examples that I have there, uh, I have, for example, apartments are convenient enough for big families. Okay. So, después de la adjective, tengo que usar enough. All right. Very good. Adjectives comparison. Apartments are just as dark as a houses. As okay. houses. As mm -hmm. houses. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, noun comparison. Apartments don't have a no windows. Very good. And then the last one. Apartment don't have enough uh, bright yeah, as uh, houses. Uh, light, Luz. light, uh -huh, mm -hmm. light, light. light. Mm -hmm. as houses. Very good, ahí está. And then you just continue practicing, all right? Quédense dentro del tema de apartment and houses. And then when you feel comfortable, then you can compare other things. What else can you compare? You can compare, for example, living in the city, living in the country, living in mm. Santana, living in San Salvador. And you can compare okay. different things. Okay, let's go back to the, to the class. Mm -hmm. O sea, que hay veces uno dice, no, es que no, no lo entiendo. Pero ya cuando uno lo empieza a practicar, ya se da cuenta que sí lo aprendió. Le digo porque a mí me pasó. Yo sentía que cuando iba a la escuela no aprendía. Pero cuando yo lo sí. empecé a practicar, sí me ayudó todo lo que había visto para, para tener una Ok, ok, very good. So, let, we're going to continue working on this, ok? Le dejo el video, le dejo el cuadro. Los ejemplos que ya hicieron con sus compañeros, ¿ok? Ahí me deja la hojita, profe, por favor. ¿Cuál hojita? Eh, la, la, no me acuerdo cómo se llama la Yo hoja. puse dos fotos en, siempre... yo puse dos fotos en WhatsApp, ahorita. Ah, es lo único que les puedo dar ahorita. Eh, la foto del cuadro que estaban llenando ahorita en la tarea y eh, un recorte del, de la foto del video, de la, de la gramática que está en el video. Y, y prácticamente con eso y el video de la, de la sección 3.1. Eh, watch the video, try to complete it. Traten ustedes mismos de completar ese cuadro, ¿ok? Que, que les di ahí. Y mañana vamos a seguir en esto también. Porque este es el mismo sí. tema del 3.4 también. Bye. Ok, very good. I'll see you, I'll see you tomorrow then, ¿ok? See you. Bye. Thank you.